So today we're going to try at least to kind of kill two birds with one stone. I've recently just kind of out of nowhere taken an interest in bear hunting again in the Hunter Classic and specifically black bears. So we set up a barrel on stream last week and we were able to do pretty decent in the most recent muzzleloader comp. I don't love the weight estimate on this guy, but 22 to 24 score estimate definitely gives him a solid chance. And I think he's maybe the best estimate bear I've seen since we started hunting for the muzzleloader comp. So of course he's going to stop kind of behind the barrel and have another bear in front of him. But I don't know, only up to 250kg, I'm not sure if he has a legitimate chance of being 23+, plus, which I think is what we need if we want a real chance of winning. But if he'll stop out there, we can hopefully get a shot at here. And looks like he drops, so we can just go and find out. I mean, he doesn't look huge to me. I don't know. Decent weight. Not a bad shot either with the inline muzzleloader. And 22.8, I mean, maybe. It's definitely the best one we've had so far, so that might be enough to put us top three. And for what it is, I think we'll just go with that for our picture. I do like that. So go figure, much like our black bear, we have a max score estimate but low weight estimate brown bear out here. And actually, if he's just going to stop, we can just put a shot in there. Should be a lung can't imagine he's going to go too far on that. And I figured we'd try at least going for brown bear since we did get the decent black bear. And if that guy is towards that upper end, we might have something here. We did make a long shot, so he just made it barely out of sight. And like, he had a big looking skull on him. The weight's probably not good enough. Yeah, 27.8. I mean, that's not terrible. That's got us in first for now with a low 50.6. Usually I think you need like a solid 51 here. That's definitely not the trophy pose I wanted, but I mean, I think there's a chance that could stay top three if we don't do any better. I mean, all things considered, not too bad. I still think he has a big skull on him, but pretty decent little GM for potentially something that could actually win us some EM as well. Those two bears got us into third place, and it was the first time I think I've ever placed in that comp, but it got me thinking that We've gotten really nice polar bear, brown bear, and grizzly bears since the trophy lodges came out, but we've not actually gotten a good black bear, so I went back and looked, and the location that I shot my best was actually pretty close to our new barrel location. It's actually almost exactly where our tent is, so one of the things we're going to do today is for one, hunt up to this tree stand and pick it up and bring it with us, and then go down here and basically swap where the tent and the barrel is. So I want to try that spot out. It's kind of an area where we can hunt whitetail as we hunt for bear. And since we're going to be doing that, I figured we'd just kind of grab the crossbow and we'll hunt for a competition running right now that's basically the highest combined score of your biggest elk and red deer. We're going to be in elk territory anyway, so I figured we could kind of do a little bit of both. I think at least this bull is just by himself, so at least we're not going to send anything running. But I've not gotten much use out of that tree stand, though we're not too far from it. Might have actually been in a decent spot for elk. This guy is determined to get somewhere, though. Just kind of take him out there as he's walking by. I think this 10-point crossbow was the first weapon I ever bought in Hunter Classic. So it's something I don't use much anymore because once you get over a 1,000 kills, you don't get Hunter Score added to your profile. But it's kind of nice to actually have that out again as well. And that's going to count towards our competition score, but we need at least another probably 150 inches to really have any kind of chance in that one. At least kind of based on the score estimate here, we're moving in the right direction, and two bulls before the tree stand definitely is not bad. I really wasn't sure what to expect going through here, but I like what we're seeing at least. It's not really about the size of them just yet, just the number of them seems good. So hopefully that kind of continues as we go down through. And this guy was 215 minimum, 6.4 meter shot, so probably could have gotten that off quicker, but 222. That'll improve on our entry currently anyway. I think we just kind of ran into these guys at a weird time because they happen to be up on this hill where they have to go across and then down to get to us. And I've only seen four of what should be a herd of five, but there is one good bull in there. He's definitely not huge or anything, but up to 335. And I'm pretty sure he's going to be over 300. But I would like to hopefully get eyes on the last one. I also haven't even seen the fourth one in a little while, but since he's getting here good and close, we can just try to go for a shot as soon as he stops. He's right on 30. 
Should be able to just take that shot. And that is gonna send at least those two running. It's kind of a nice thing though, actually, that they do have to come across like that, because if there is still a fifth one way back there, it's gonna have to travel some distance, and it probably wasn't close enough to hear that. So we'll still take it slow. But first actual solid bullet hunt. He's actually got one of the cleanest frames I've seen in a while. So I think we're gonna put out a call. There is, I think, bull number four right there. Yeah, that's the one that I did see. So, just to give them a little bit of something to come into for a minute, because I think we may take a trophy shot at this guy. Managed to double lung him there at 30.7, and 319 definitely isn't bad. Since there are preset trophy shot poses, I'm not sure how that's going to work on this side of this hill, but maybe we can do something quick. I hear footsteps from below us, so I guess we're going to go with that. Hardly the best we've taken. That's a cow, actually. The other bull's right up there. I'm still not sure about a fifth one. There almost has to be one. They rarely ever travel in fours. It could have been like a solo and a group of three, I guess. Let's just get this guy out of the way if we can. On the off chance there is a fifth one way back, we don't need this guy to run off and spook him. I'd like him to stop, but crossbow's pretty darn good, so I can just sort of take a frontal chest shot. And I guess the move is going to be, since we know roughly where they came from, to just sort of walk along the ridge up here, do a little call and see if there's one still hanging back there. But you can kind of see, crossbow just went right through it. 174 for that guy, so first time we're actually not making an improvement. But we might as well at least give ourselves the best chance of, like, running into this one if there's one out here. So kind of as we move out of elk territory, although we're still in it a bit, we're going to start to see more whitetail. And I finally got that carved grunt collar that has been in the game for years. I've wanted to get it. And I don't know when it actually became viable. It maybe was when the game went free to play. But anyway, thought we'd bring that. Just got a little buck out here. But... If we can just go ahead and keep this up, we're continuing to find bucks and bulls just about everywhere we go. So hopefully that can continue, because we still have quite a lot of distance to cover. The current plan is to kind of end up going around all the way up to here and then over. It would make sense to grab the barrel first, so we're going to try to kind of do it that way. That is definitely a better buck than the last one. 140 to 165. That little sticker there is going to hurt him. Actually, he's got at least two. But it is nice having the crossbow for these. A little kind of easier to make a moving shot, I think. Although, aiming a little higher would have been a good idea. So, single lung. Not going to run too far. And I mean, we're going that way regardless to get to where we need to go. Would have been nice to potentially not spook stuff that's over there, though. He actually does have a pretty nice frame and good tall tines, but... Being a 6x6 six six is going to limit how high he can score. Was left long there at 60 meters. 156 though for a 6x6 six six is definitely not bad. And really, he only ran for about 46 seconds, I think that said. Didn't make it that far, so probably didn't spook too much, if anything. pretty much right on 30 meters to the barrel, so definitely still in bow range, but not a lot of bears are going to get too close to the tree stand and spook. And it's a nice open area here, so hopefully that's going to help us get some good sized bears. And we do still need to go and place our tent, so I was going to go back kind of where the barrel was, but a straight shot to the tree stand would be more like from there. And then if we're going to do that, we might as well wander up through here and look for elk a little bit more. I know they'll stay up there. And since that's actually what we started with, I think we should maybe give it one more shot at the end. So two different bulls we actually got to come into this call, which is kind of odd because, again, they don't really travel in pairs. But it could be just two solos that happen to be in the same place. We are almost three hours into this hunt, so it's not too difficult to imagine that two could just kind of walk into the same place by now. But I guess we'll get to take down both, as long as he doesn't spook as we get reloaded here, which he definitely knows we're here, but... Looks like we're good, but I do gotta think, giving them that much time to walk all the way in here, if there were others with them, they would have at least bugled, and really they probably would have been in sight by now, but we're over here by the other bear barrel, the place where we actually got the bigger black bear that was a part of our comp entry, 
So I think we're going to go and check that out. It's still actually active. And we might as well take advantage of the last bit of feed that's in there. And there can be elk down in that area as well, especially, again, nearly three hours into the hunt. They could be really just about anywhere on the map, so definitely, I think, worth the time to go and look. This has been one of the rare times we've been able to get into the stand and not actually send anything running. So a quick look around. I've not seen any very big ones other than the one that's decent under our stand. And I guess that's kind of the whole point of setting up the other barrel. By the way, this one back here probably would spook if not for the scent cover. Because the wind blows pretty much exactly from us to there. And quite a lot in the passive spook there. Don't know if we've seen this guy. That actually would be probably our best bet at a good one. 20 to 23. So definitely not going to be basically the 23 plus that we actually want. But maybe if he'll step out a little more. We could just kind of take him with a crossbow from over there. I'm not sure why he's not on the barrel. Usually the biggest ones kind of get there and we'll chase the others away. Maybe he's going to work his way in here. So just to give an idea of how uncooperative this bear has been, we got back to the tent, grabbed the 300, and I don't think we're going to try to take a crossbow shot, even if he is on his way back. I think it's just best we get a shot in him and hopefully bring him down. I was kind of hoping that might get him through the neck. Definitely didn't. And of course we have one greatly placed branch. I think it'll kill him, but I don't know if that got single lung. So luckily that was enough to bring him down. Really didn't want to have to deal with that much longer. Hit him right in the shoulder blade, so we were close. And he's still not even a 22. 21.7 is not bad. But like I said, kind of the entire point. Hopefully the new setup is going to allow us to get some better bears. And I'm actually quite excited about that spot. I can't wait to go and probably enter some comps and see if we can actually get a 23 plus. I'd like to put one in a lodge somewhere. So... Maybe in the near future we can actually do that as well. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.